One day Henny Penny was picking up corn in the cornyard when, whack, something hit her upon the head. Goodness gracious me, said Henny Penny, the skies are going to fall. I must go and tell the king. So she went along and she went along and she went along till she met Cocky Locky. Where are you going, Henny Penny? says Cocky Locky. Oh, I'm going to tell the king the skies are falling, says Henny Penny. May I come with you, says Cocky Locky. Certainly, says Henny Penny. So Henny Penny and Cocky Locky went to tell the king the sky was falling. They went along and they went along and they went along till they met Ducky Daddles. Where are you going to, Henny Penny and Cocky Locky? says Ducky Daddles. Oh, we're going to tell the king the skies are falling, said Henny Penny and Cocky Locky. May I come with you? says Ducky Daddles. Certainly, said Henny Penny and Cocky Locky. So Henny Penny, Cocky Locky, and Ducky Daddles went to tell the king the sky was a falling. So they went along and they went along and they went along till they met Goosey Poosey. Where are you going to, Henny Penny, Cocky Locky, and Ducky Daddles? said Goosey Poosey. Oh, we're going to tell the king the skies are falling, said Henny Penny, and Cocky Locky, and Ducky Daddles. May I come with you? said Goosey Poosey. Certainly, said Henny Penny, Cocky Locky, and Ducky Daddles. So Henny Penny, Cocky Locky, Ducky Daddles, and Goosey Poosey went to tell the king the sky was a falling. So they went along and they went along and they went along till they met Turkey Lurkey. Where are you going, Henny Penny, Cocky Locky, Ducky Daddles, and Goosey Poosey? says Turkey Lurkey. Oh, we're going to tell the king the skies are falling, said Henny Penny, Cocky Locky, Ducky Daddles, and Goosey Poosey. May I come with you, Henny Penny, Cocky Locky, Ducky Daddles, and Goosey Poosey? said Turkey Lurkey. Why, certainly, Turkey Lurkey, said Henny Penny, Cocky Locky, Ducky Daddles, and Goosey Poosey. So Henny Penny, Cocky Locky, Ducky Daddles, Goosey Poosey, and Turkey Lurkey all went to tell the king the sky was a falling. So they went along and they went along and they went along till they met Foxy Woxy. And Foxy Woxy said to Henny Penny, Cocky Locky, Ducky Daddles, Goosey Poosey, and Turkey Lurkey, Where are you going, Henny Penny, Cocky Locky, Ducky Daddles, Goosey Poosey, and Turkey Lurkey? And Henny Penny, Cocky Locky, Ducky Daddles, Goosey Poosey, and Turkey Lurkey said to Foxy Woxy, We're going to tell the king the skies are falling. Oh, but this is not the way to the king, Henny Penny, Cocky Locky, Ducky Daddles, Goosey Poosey, and Turkey Lurkey, says Foxy Woxy. I know the proper way. Shall I show it you? Why, certainly, Foxy Woxy, said Henny Penny, Cocky Locky, Ducky Daddles, Goosey Poosey, and Turkey Lurkey. So Henny Penny, Cocky Locky, Ducky Daddles, Goosey Poosey, Turkey Lurkey, and Foxy Woxy all went to tell the king the sky was a falling. So they went along and they went along and they went along till they came to a narrow and dark hole. Now this was the door of Foxy Woxy's cave. But Foxy Woxy said to Henny Penny, Cocky Locky, Ducky Daddles, Goosey Poosey, and Turkey Lurkey, This is the short way to the king's palace. You'll soon get there if you follow me. I will go first, and you come after Henny Penny, Cocky Locky, Ducky Daddles, Goosey Poosey, and Turkey Lurkey. Why, of course, certainly, without doubt. Why not? said Henny Penny, Cocky Locky, Ducky Daddles, Goosey Poosey, and Turkey Lurkey. So Foxy Woxy went into his cave. And he didn't go very far, but turned round to wait for Henny Penny, Cocky Locky, Ducky Daddles, Goosey Poosey, and Turkey Lurkey. So at last, at first, Turkey Lurkey went through the dark hole into the cave. He hadn't got far when, Hrumph! Foxy Woxy snapped off Turkey Lurkey's head and threw his body over his left shoulder. Then Goosey Poosey went in, and Hrumph! Off went her head, and Goosey Poosey was thrown beside Turkey Lurkey. Then Ducky Daddles waddled down, and hrumph, snapped Foxy Woxy, and Ducky Daddles' head was off, and Ducky Daddles was thrown alongside Turkey Lurkey and Goosey Poosey. Then Cocky Locky strutted down into the cave, and he hadn't gone far when, snap, hrumph, went Foxy Woxy, and Cocky Locky was thrown alongside of Turkey Lurkey, Goosey Poosey, and Ducky Daddles. But Foxy Woxy had made two bites at Cocky Locky. And when the first snap only hurt Cocky Locky but didn't kill him, he called out to Henny Penny. So she turned tail and ran back home. So she never told the king the sky was a falling. <laughs>